we are up and at them. <laughs> it is 10 past 5 and welcome to a week in the life of a marketing girly. It is Monday morning and I'm just going to bring you guys along with me this week and show you what I get up to. Time to spend some time with Jesus and then we'll head down to the gym. Welcome to the home gym. Today is a lower body strength focus session and I'm up to week six of like an eight week program that I actually bought back in 2021. So I've already been through it one time, but the last time I went through it, it was before I had even touched a barbell. So it's a bit of a different experience this time. It was written for me by Beth Parks, if you know who that is. She's amazing and the program is so good. Very challenging, but also very good. A lot of it focuses on being in like the hypertrophy component of exercise. So it's higher rep ranges, more time under tension, and really focusing on increasing muscle mass, which looking at me, you probably wouldn't know. For me, exercise is more about how it makes me feel than how it makes me look. So we love that. But also, you still see I'm currently lacing up my Converse's. The other day I posted a video on my story of me doing my workout and I got a lot of confused people in my DMs like, why are you wearing Converse while working out? I wouldn't normally, normally I just wear my like running shoes, but when I'm doing strength based stuff, it's really important, especially lower body, to have your feet planted flat on the ground and these bad boys have a very flat sole on them. Yes, I would go barefoot, but more important to have a bit of grip on your feet than to have your dogs out. For any new subscribers here, I'm actually like halfway through a personal training certificate at the moment. So once I'm fully qualified, the plan is to pump out a bit more fitness content, but until then, I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. Time to get the tunes going, and I'll show you guys like a bit of my workout, but definitely not the whole thing. <laughs> Alrighty, it is time for some breakfast and I was really organized last night and I made myself some overnight oats. It's so easy, it just means that in the morning you don't have to think about breakfast. But I will make this again tonight so when I make it again I'll show you guys what goes into it. Work OOTD giving first week of summer. The weather however is not giving first week of summer. You're like Emma, I clicked on this video because you said you're a marketing girly. Allow me to explain. What do I do for a living? I have a 9 to 5, 5 days a week, full time job. I work for a social media agency and my role is account executive. Contrary to popular belief, has absolutely nothing to do with accounting. Although I wouldn't be against that, unpopular opinion. I personally love accounting. It was one of my favourite subjects through high school and uni. But I have a Bachelor of Communication Studies, double majoring in marketing and digital business. And so in my role, basically my primary, I'd say like my specialty in my role is coming up with paid advertising or paid campaign strategies for clients for basically like just meta advertising so you're talking Instagram, Facebook and audience network which is like ads that you see that randomly pop up when you're like playing a game on your phone or something. Alongside that I do do some work on like organic content for our clients as well but mostly I, my input comes in when it gets to the paid stuff so Anyway, that is my specialty. I am heading into, I say the office this morning, we don't actually have an office. Our team is relatively small and we all work from home, but we catch up once a week on a Monday morning for our team whip, which is like our work in progress meeting where we just go through everything that's happening. So those meetings are pretty stacked at the moment because we close down for Christmas in a couple of weeks time. I'm gonna go into the office, which isn't actually the office, it's just a co-working space and meet up with, well, one of my colleagues will be there and then the other will join online. It is 10 past eight, so I need to make some moves. So let's go. Work is, hang on, this BP is really annoying. Let me just back out of my car park real quick. I'm heading back home now, back to my desk. It is the 4th of December today, so it's the first full week of December. I actually don't mind doing reports as long as I have enough time to do them. I actually find the reporting process of quite enjoyable. Lunch time and I'm having some leftover dinner from last night. I did not leave. I'm going to need to have something else because there's not enough left in here. Taya came over last night and we had HelloFresh for dinner. I haven't had HelloFresh in a while and every time I have it I'm just like reminded of how good it is. It's just so tasty. This is like chicken and couscous. Normally on my lunch break I'll either like watch a YouTube video or something but some days when I just feel like my brain just needs like a second to just like breathe. I literally just sit in silence and just let my mind wander before I have to go back and do some more reports. I feel like it's going to be a bit of a long afternoon if I'm being honest. It'll go fast because I'm busy. No complaints. I still have like a decent 20 minutes left of my break and oh my gosh my camera's actually falling to pieces. This is not good. I have a Christmas dinner with my church connect group on Wednesday night but tomorrow night I'm out babysitting my cousin so I won't be able to do any baking tomorrow night so I was going to do it tonight but I've got extra time now so I might just do it right now. I'm making peppermint truffles and it's literally just three ingredients. 
put it in the food processor, roll it into balls, and Bob's your uncle. I have, hopefully the right plug plugged into the wall. This has got the biscuits and the chocolate in it. And that's not the right plug. Sick. And here we have them. I had some Christmas sprinkles left over from some Christmas cookies that I made. So put those on some of them and then just coconut on the rest. The recipe said it was meant to make about 40. Um, we have 20 here. So they're meant to be half the size, but it's fine. One less thing for me to worry about after work. And dinner. <laughs> It's ready. This is massive. Creamy chicken and tomato spaghetti with char grilled capsicum and baby kale. Looks good. Smells good. Can't go wrong. This is not like sponsored content or anything, but they did, like HelloFresh have given me HelloFresh for this week and a few weeks to come as well. But I am home alone at the moment. Um, I do live with my parents normally, but they're retired. This is pretty much just a glorified house sitting job, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so this is going to do me dinner and lunch. And probably dinner and lunch. And that'll be my four servings. But I thought this is going to do me more than four servings. This is a lot of pasta. This is like a whole packet of pasta. Okay, well I'm going to dish it up in my bowl. And then the leftovers I'm going to pop. Hopefully they'll fit in this container. And they'll go in the fridge. Also, last night's dinner was also HelloFresh. And I forgot to put the plums and cheese on top. So I'm going to put the plums and cheese on top of my spaghetti. Also, I should probably say, I do have a discount code for HelloFresh. Again, this is not sponsored content. But if you want to use the discount code, um, who am I to stop you? It's... <laughs> Before I say what it is, I need to preface. I was not the one who chose this, but I'm not at all mad about it. It is Emma Slay for up to $175. Oh, I probably have a link as well, so if I do, I'll pop that in the description box for you. When they sent to my discount code, I was like, that is the best thing that I've ever seen. Delicious. I'm gonna make my oats for tomorrow, and as promised, I'm gonna show you guys what goes into it. Start with a third of a cup of oats. I also find these containers look like the perfect size. I think it's like a teaspoon of chia seeds, but I kind of just, I don't use measuring spoons really, that's probably a bit too much, but anyway. I Meant to be like a teaspoon of maple syrup, but again, I just guess, just give it a little whoop. Yeah, that'll loop. Mixy mix. So before we get too carried away, it is Biscoff oats, so I put like Biscoff melted spread on the top. So I just get like a little teaspoon of that, or a tablespoon probably more like. Also, do this if you're going to do it at night time, do it before you brush your teeth, so you can look at the spoon. I just give that 15 seconds in the microwave, and then when it comes out, I'll add milk to make like a sauce kind of type thing. To my oats mixture, I'm going to add a third of a cup of milk. And if you have protein powder on hand, you can chuck a tablespoon of that in here, or a serving of that, whatever you want, in here at the same time. Got my frozen berries, I think today's going to be the last day that I get, I believe, unfortunately. So yes, cover the top with the berries, and then grab some yogurt. Yeah, I just put enough yogurt on top just to cover the berries, and I can get my biscoff out of the microwave. So when it comes out, it'll be pretty much melted, but I just add a bit of milk to it to make it go slightly further, and it doesn't like affect the taste or anything, which is good. Also, you can 100% forfeit the biscoff if you don't have it. Like, it's just like a little added extra to go on the top. I'm gonna put this on top just so you can see, because I don't have a tripod on me right now. Or the biscoff spread on top. But it will kind of mix in with the yogurt, but again, like it doesn't affect the taste, you're eating it all anyway. So eat all the for dessert. And that is my overnight oats, easy peasy. Chuck them in the fridge, and we're good to go for breakfast in the morning. Car pie. I decided this afternoon that the YouTube video that I was halfway, I filmed it on Saturday, halfway through editing, I decided that I was gonna post it tonight. 10 to eight right now, and the video is currently exporting, so I need to make a thumbnail, then I can upload it, and we'll be good to go. But I'm also kind of craving one of those chocolate balls that I made. Oh my goodness. Stunning. Mm mm mm. What a happy Tuesday. It's pretty much bang on six o'clock. I'm currently eating half a banana because I'm about to go do an upper body session and I'm not feeling today. <laughs> Normally I like I work out fasted like every morning and not like intentionally like, oh I'm gonna work out faster. It's just because I wake up and then I just do it. Like I don't really think about food until I start and like, oh yeah, I probably should have eaten something beforehand because Brown's a little bit past it so it doesn't really taste the greatest. It'll do the job. She's fueled, she's ready to go. I'm gonna try and do just one unassisted chin up and see how I go. I've never done one of these successfully before. I am showered and it's hair washing day so also washed my hair. In the middle of it all, the postie arrived and she had a package for me. Didn't think I was waiting on anything. But no, it is material for one of our clients. 
marketing girly things. I need to get changed and get ready. It is already 10 past 8. I've been a little bit slow this morning. But I need to, yeah, get changed and have breakfast and be at my desk in 22 minutes. Oh, camera's falling apart. Let's just click her back into place. This is my OOTD. <laughs> Minimal effort required on this one. It is time to start work. I've acquired myself a cup of tea in my cute James Bond mug that Morgan got me for Friendsmas. Time to do some mahi. I'm running reports again today. I did half the clients yesterday, I did half the clients today, and I'll also hopefully get to some campaign reports as well, which will be exciting to see how they went. Five o'clock and work is done. Mum just rang. They're away camping at the moment in their camper van up north of Whangarei. Apparently the weather has gone really bad and so they've decided to come home like two days early. So they'll be home tonight but like probably not till like 9pm. But I have to go to my cousin's house now and do a bit of babysitting. But I will not be putting my little cousins on the internet. So I will not be taking my camera with me. Good morning, happy Thursday, th th no, Wednesday. Babysitting went well last night, didn't end up getting home until like 10.30. It was chill, I hung out with the kids until I went to bed and then I took my stuff and did some study which I've been needing to do for a while so that was great to crack into a little bit of that. Today's more of a chill work day. Since I got home late last night I still wanted like, a, my priority is my eight hours of sleep and so I slept in this morning until mm, quarter to seven. Work day is finished. I have the ends in my pants all day. The sun is still shining, although there is dark cloud looming over there. It's fine, it'll come and go. I'm gonna go for a run. Not like an actual run, because if I'm just running consistently, I actually can't really run any further than like a kilometer. So we're gonna work on that. You may recall back in like, I wanna say like April, I committed to like my quest to run five kilometers. That lasted like three weeks and I gave up. I wanna get back into the running since the weather is getting warmer, the days are longer. All is well and good. I'm gonna do an interval run. I'm pretty sure the one that I'm doing today, a minute of running and then a minute of walking, and you do that 10 times. I'm gonna give it a go. Got my running belt to make me look like I'm legit. This tool doesn't shut. I have to be out the door, probably quarter to six, to go to my connect group dinner at the Botanical Gardens. We are gonna do it at the gardens because the sun is sunning, so that's great. Slay, time to go run. Run is complete and it actually felt a lot better than I thought it would by like the probably the seventh or eighth split. My legs were getting very heavy, but we made it. Mum has just informed me we have this advent calendar. Had it since I was a kid, it's really cool when you open the doors, it like sings you a song and then this little guy. Anyway. Mum forgot to fill it up before she went away. She's filled it up while I've been out for a run for the last six days. So let's open it together. Number one. Oh, oh, a pretty nana. December, the birth of King Jesus. Oh, I have readings to do. It's a bit more admin than I was expecting. <laughs> this is very Pinterest-like. <laughs> I have a pile of quotes and some Bible readings to do and a whole bunch of chocolates to keep me going. Slay. I have my... Not to be the mom. Nah, that's not gonna look pretty. I'll give up. My mint balls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the girls went above and beyond all of our expectations. They put on the most beautiful like picnic set up and they all bought our plates and Secret Santa. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys what I got for Secret Santa. It's a white elephant where you get given a number and then you take turns like choosing one from the middle and you can steal if you want, but we were all too nice to steal so everyone got what they chose. And mine was sitting in the middle like this and I was like, why has no one picked it? It's literally a mecha bag. Got an eyeshadow palette and a little lip gloss. So it's like a little strawberry lip ointment. I actually think I was gonna buy this earlier this year with a mecha voucher that I had. Could not find it anywhere for the life of me. And so now I have it. Look at that. Stunning. I feel like I need to go somewhere and wear makeup now because I haven't worn makeup in months. <laughs> I can't even say thank you to the person who got it because I don't know who it is because no one would spill who got what. So I guess we'll never know. I need to go to bed because it is 9.30. I just made a really cute reel of our little picnic as well. It was just so cute. So cute. Morena, we are up in Atlanta this morning. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But the birds are popping off this morning. So much so that they woke me up before my alarm. We have a lower body session on the cars this morning. Normally I would start my workout with a warm up involving five minutes of walking on the treadmill. That will not be happening today because Dad had other ideas for the treadmill. I meant to ask him to move that but I forgot and I, it's like 6am. <laughs> I actually can't do it.
just quietly, I think my legs are going to be fine that workout for days to come. It's 8 o'clock and I'm about to open my computer and do some work. We are shooting on site today for one of our clients and it's meant to be an outdoor shoot. But this is how the uh, sky is looking. We were kind of hoping for uh, sunshine, but can't win them all. So I'm required as like talent to sit in on some of the photos from 9 o'clock. So I want to get a bit of work done before I head out to site. Do that probably, I think I'm going to be there till midday. Then we're going to go out for lunch together as a team and the rest of the crew are going to stay on for the afternoon. And then I'm going to come home and carry on with my work day. My work day is finished. I ended up staying on site for the shoot till like 4 o'clock so I've only been back at my desk for like an hour. But I have something to show you guys so let's go downstairs and have a look. Matt do you want to show my vlogs? Oh you can't show it yet, it's top secret. Oh it's top secret. Yeah no no show it. Oh okay it's top secret guys. Yeah, it's for another person's vlog. Oh my gosh gatekeeping it. I have decided that I'm gonna have a shower and actually put on some fake tan. The tan I use is from Ed and I Body and it's like appropriate for sensitive skin. I actually reckon that it helps my skin. I really don't mind using it because I find especially on my face it helps clear up my skin which is so nice. Time to go have a shower and then I have a package sitting on my bed that we need to undo. Alrighty, tan is tanning. Time to undo this mysterious box which isn't so mysterious because I'm pretty sure I know what's in here considering it says kids can on the label on the front. Oh yep, nice one Emma. We've opened it upside down. Oh stop it, this is so cute. The moment of truth. Yeah. They are the kids can Christmas crackers. For the kids can Christmas cracker appeal. Kids can is a New Zealand charity dedicated to helping the one in six Kiwi kids affected by poverty. Oh my goodness, they support 1,100 schools and early childhood centres in 16 regions across New Zealand. They're feeding 55,000 children a day. Wow, that is amazing. All proceeds raised from these crackers goes towards helping kids can deliver the essentials like food, warm jackets, shoes, socks and basic health products to Kiwi kids living in hardship. Each cracker contains an obligate, ob obligate, why can't I say that? Obligatory. Oblig obligatory? Am I okay? <laughs> anyway, it contains a party hat. <laughs> Our very best dad and mum jokes plus a chance to win one of over 6,000 amazing prizes. They are sold for $2.50 or you can purchase a pack of 10 through the Kids Can website. Mum just got home so I might go downstairs and we can open these together. We'll do both. Three, yep. two, one. Thank you for supporting the Kids King Christmas Cracker Appeal. What did the ocean say to Santa as he flew over? See you later. Nothing, it just waved. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. What would you call an elf who has just won the lottery? I don't know. Wealthy. <laughs> That's good. I have a bit of editing to do because this video you guys are watching right now, I'm hoping to post this on Monday. But I also have some branded content that I have to film on Saturday, which has to be ready with the client for approval on Monday so I have to film Saturday, edit Sunday, upload ready for review on Monday which is a really tight turnaround. I set that up like that for myself and after I said that I was like what am I actually doing to myself right now. But that's okay, in between church on Sunday I will get it done but that means if I want this video that you're watching right now to go up on Monday then I have to start editing now so anyway I digress. I need the SD card so I'm gonna have to like shut you guys off real quick, do some editing and um I'll check back with you later. <laughs> Good morning. It is Friday. That also means that it is Fresh Sheet Friday. Every Friday I change my sheets. I've been doing this for like two or three years now. It's a really good routine to get into because then I don't really have to think about when I'm washing my sheets. I just do it every Friday. Credit to Simone Anderson for that idea. Time to change my sheets and then we'll head downstairs and get into a workout. Today is a hit and rap style workout and I'm going to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. <laughs> We also have a really good off-peak power rate at home here from 9pm to 7am so that we can charge our cars cheap. And so I make use of that and do my washing at this hour of the morning so that it's finished washing by the time I finish my workout and also finish washing by the time the off-peak power finishes. She's working smart and not harder guys. My brother's doing an engine swap on his car today so consequently now I have a seat and a soft top, and I don't even know what that is. And my home gym, slay. Not gonna lie, this seat's actually pretty comfortable. But what have we got on our workout today? It's an AMRAP, so I've got two 18 minute AMRAPs. I'm gonna end up doing like 60 burpees, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Let's make lemonade. <laughs> That 
was hard in the process of that I came up with a really cool video idea as well which is going to rely on the help of some people to make it happen if I can execute that it's going to be pretty cool and I think you guys are going to want to love it but anyway I'm going to hang my washing outside because the sun is shining would have been nice if it could have done that yesterday for our shoot but that's okay I'm so excited I have a short work day today I'm heading down to Hampton Downs for our work Christmas party which I am so excited for I have it on my summer bucket list to do the go-karting there and I've been thinking about it I'm like who am I going to go with like it's kind of expensive and then now we're going for our Christmas party and it's also like a club day so my boss says husband is going to take us for some laps around the track in his Mitsubishi Evo I've never been around Hampton Downs track before I've been around Highlands and going but I haven't been around and been down before. Five past one, I need to be out of the house in like 15 minutes. This is the OOTD we have going for the go-karting. Is this giving, I'm gonna smoke you in go-karting? Cause it's the look I'm going for. Right, we have arrived at Hampton Down. Ready to race. It's very busy, lots of tradies here. And I feel like such a minority when a female in an EV. I'm so excited. <laughs> That was so much fun. You may have just seen some in-car footage and a bit of like really high quality pre-car footage and post-car footage potentially. That is from the boys, JD and Nathan. They are filming for their own YouTube channel called Those Car Dudes. So if you're into cars, check that out. I'll link it down below. Credit to them for that footage, but oh my goodness, that was phenomenal. We did a like a warm-up lap to get the car, you know, warmed up. And then we did two like fast laps and then we did a like a slower cool down not cool down but like a slower lap when we first went out i thought he was like kind of going hundies and i was like this is like a sunday drive like is, is this all that we're in for and then he's like are you all good i'm like yeah i'm sweet as and then when we came around the hairpin he like put his foot down and i was like whoa and the breaking into turn one like i was like throwing back into my like it was it was really cool so now i'm just sedately driving my leaf back home <laughs> we don't need to park Okay, not gonna be in the way. Okay, home sweet home. And it is time for bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has actually been such a fun week. If you made this around the video, comment your favorite day of the week. I feel like it's gonna be like Friday, 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 Friday. I'm actually gonna be vlogging tomorrow, so I need to go put this camera on charge and actually fix it because it's fallen to pieces. That click you heard is me clicking my camera back together. <laughs> I'll be vlogging tomorrow a very very exciting day planned and that will be the next video after this one so if you want to see that make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can be the first to know about it and i will see you in my next video <laughs>